First, this is Love, Dr. Pamela Smith. Thank you for joining me. As we talk about love and relationships, you know what I do? I give you real solution, real strategies to finding love, getting love, and keeping love. Now, make sure you go ahead, um, share this with others who may need help in their relationship. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube. Make sure you give me those hearts. I love it. Thank you for joining me, lovers as we talk about another great subject. So tonight's subject is, do you still think of your ex if you're in a relationship with someone else? So this is a topic right now because we are in a position of where we are just with self, right? And because of that, you may be uh, thinking of a person you like to be with, but stuck with someone else, okay? So I felt that let's talk about what happens with this situation, what you could do in this situation, and why it's happening, okay? Now, why do you think about the ex? What, what's happening that you're thinking about the ex? So here's what's going on. You're more than likely unhappy with the relationship that you're in. Um, you miss what you had with that past relationship. It could be... Uh, the love you received. It could be the way you were treated. It could be that the person uh, cooked and the one you with now does not. Um, you could have just rushed into a relationship uh, with the new person and then give yourself time to breathe and think about taking the time to go into another relationship. So, you could have made a poor decision and ended the previous relationship too soon and went into another relationship. And then most most of all, you may have a disconnect with your present relationship. You know, you're, you're not fulfilled emotionally, nor you feel mentally or fulfilled uh, physically. And so because of that, you think about your past ex. Now, there's many more reasons we could go on and talk about that, but I'm giving you the main ones that you think about the past relationship. So now, so what do, what do you do? What, what, what could you do? Well, you could decide to, with this new person, learn how to get to know them so that you can fulfill how you want to be within the new relationship. Um, you could... Try your best to get to know the person so that you can be happy within that relationship. You could possibly see and focus, do I have chemistry with this new relationship? You know, uh, is there actually sexual excitement within this new relationship? Uh, you know, do they give you peace? Those are things you could do and sit and think about. Well, is this the relationship I really, really want? And that right now is a good time to do that. Because here, here is the, the whole gist in this. And then I'm going to give you the solution to it. See, we enter again, as I, I talk about this all the time, we enter in relationships because why? Because we're attracted to what we see, right? And then what happened is we keep going into the relationship thinking that things are going to change. Or get better. But if you've never let go of a, of, of a person in your past. And you hold on to what they did to you. Or how they treated you. Or how they make you feel. You bring that to that new relationship. That's why I always talk about. You have to give yourself time to breathe. And be that single person. Be in a single relationship. Be um, in love with self. So that you can give yourself space and time to see what you truly, really like. I mean, if this is a person you really, really want to be with. So here's the solution, people. It is okay to think about past relationships. But you've got to put those past memories behind. Because the only way to move forward in relationships... You have to discover what is real love for you. What, what really truly makes you feel good and what you really truly like. Because if that past relationship 
worked out, you would be there. And so you have to think about what happened in that past relationship that you know now is it possibly has some pieces that are missing in the present relationship, but you know that past relationship was not fulfilling either. So the whole thing is you have to think about what it was you didn't like about your past. Think about what you what you like about the present. And if you can see what the difference is, now you can better see how you, you can let go of your ex. Because I'm telling you, when you are disconnected from a, from a person you're no longer with, you have to disconnect. Because something happened that disconnect you. Do not go back. Do not go back to relationships you in. Now, everybody say you could be friends with someone you used to have a relationship with. Mm, yes and no. Majority of the time, it's not good to do that. You could be friends to a certain extent if you have children. But if you're a single individual and you didn't have children together, it's best to move on. Because all you're doing is carrying past to the present. And when you bring past to the present, it's difficult to move forward to the future. Okay? So I, I hope that the information that you get that you just received helped you because you want to have new love so that you can discover what makes you happy. You know, what makes you feel good and what what you want to connect to. Because there's nothing like bringing a whole self into a new relationship. And, and if you've experienced it, you know what I'm talking about. When you don't have things around you that are going on, it is so wonderful to focus on that person at one time. And when you're focusing on one person at that one time, you have a better relationship. And you can see better as to what makes you happy. And that's what, and, and in that, in that case, you what? Stop wasting time. Okay. So I hope that helped you out. Thank you for joining me. Remember, if you are single, true love is only delayed. You just have to be patient and know that love is always seeking you. You don't have to go seeking love. It's there. It exists. You just have to be ready for it. If you're in a relationship, it has to be about peace, joy, and happiness. So I thank you for joining me with the Love Dr. Pamela Smith Show. I will see you tomorrow as we talk again about love, love.